Bar Week Ground Hour Week with you my fellow Transformers fans. It is I, Monkey, back again for me Auto Assembly 2014 thoughts and haul. Oh, um, I've been ill. Oh, I've been ill. I've been shit. I'm okay now. Do some videos. Let's do some talking. Let's do it. Do it. First of all, I have to say um, a big thank you to Simon, Trish, Billy, Dave, Adam, Slater, uh, all the uh, volunteers who who help out to set up Auto Assembly, um, running throughout the weekend. They're working throughout the weekend, and we're just pissing about and having fun. So first of all, I have to thank them. I also have to thank the Hilton as well, because they did a bang-on job this year they've redone all the single rooms which is quite mad um the bed the bathrooms and now don't have a wall partitioning wall so the shower it's like a wet room walking it's just it's just there for the single rooms i don't know about the twins or i don't think the doubles have and they have like a separate bath bathroom like but i kind of liked it i thought it was pretty cool it just meant though that you couldn't you know bring anyone in if you had a shit in there <laughs> the breakfast were great filled myself up and this year swerves as you know, you've probably heard on these videos, Swears was open a lot longer. And so, um, you had £7.15 and it got you a meal. You know, I think it was another, I think it was £9 and got you a good meal and a drink. Right, so, first toy. So, Ian Pyatt, uh, Ellis, 82, messages me, tells me he's got some bots for me. Because he heard on a video that I wanted these bots. And he gave me for nothing. For nothing. So I have to say a big, massive thank you to Mr. A. M. Pyatt um, for that wonderful, wonderful gift that you gave me. What bots? Do you ask? These bots. Oh my God! G1, Grimlock, Slag, and Sludge. The original three. If you're into the cartoon continuity. Of the Dino Bots, yes. This toy, these toys were loved and played with every day, and I have them now, and I love them, and they're a good home because I'll look after them. Very nice. Um, so it started off with Raz coming to our house. Um, I picked him up on a Tuesday, uh, from the airport, and it was on that day that that guy on the flight rings up and says, "I've got a bomb on the plane." And the typhoon from RAF Coningsby comes up and basically escorts the flight to uh, Manchester Airport. That's the day. It was a few hours before Raz turned up, but it stopped all the air traffic. Anyway, um, he um, picked him up, got to our house, and that was the Tuesday. And Wednesday, we went over to um, Elland. Which is between Huddersfield and Halli Halifax. Huddersfield, Halifax. And um, wonderful. I had a great day. To be honest, I was a bit like, oh, I'm going to go over there. That was it kind of thing. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't, I didn't say that to Raz or anything. But I was just like, oh, I just want to go out. Oh. <laughs> Fucking rubbish. But I went there and I had a wonderful time. I met some wonderful people. Um, and it was great. Honestly, I, I, and they like me as well, which is nice. Which is always a bonus. So, uh, yep, um, I'm, I'm not far from there either. So, I'm going to get a train over for the weekend or something, have a drink or something with them. So, yeah. Uh, next one. Next spot. So, with Raz coming over, um, he took a few flights, took the long way to get here. Around the hours is to come back. And uh, Air Canada, or one of them, I can't remember which flight, lost one of his bags. Not lost it, it's just basically it was stuck in Toronto. Um, so um, when he eventually got it on Thursday, when he arrived at the Hilton, I bought some bots off him. And basically I was getting them that day. And uh, these are some of them. Yes, 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 indeed. Animated Dino Bots. Grimlock. Snarl and swoop. Grimlock's got awesome white body. Look at that for a head. Swoop. Raz told me to take photographs this year. He said, Take photographs 
so that when you finish AA, before the blues kick in, you can lengthen the auto assembly. So I wanted to do the full hog this year. It went on the Thursday with Raz and came back on the Monday. And I'm glad I did. I'm so glad. And I, because I took, I spent that long, I had lots of time to sit back and just reflect on where I am now and enjoy the moment, which was really cool. I saw lots of photographs. And he said, do the photographs. And when you come home, when you've done your box and you've done everything else, you've watched all your AA videos, you can go to your photos and start there and now. And you know what? It worked. It helped a lot. I even got last year's photo album. I managed to fill, sort that out and put that on Facebook and this year's. So it was really cool. I, I really enjoyed it. Next bot. Also from Raz, I got this bad boy. Yes, it's G1 Skull Cruncher. He's missing his head. And I bought this bad boy from one of the stores. And now he's almost complete. Just needs the gun. Do you know I saw the gun for £23 on eBay? Nah, you're alright. Jog on. So we got there. And on the Thursday night, we went to see Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I hadn't seen this, and a lot of the guys had. So it was a lot of the second time with most of them. Um, and we went, <laughs> I, we got in Petrina's car, and uh, we got lost, and it was my fault. She says it in the microbase. It's the navigator's fault. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> so anyone who was wondering who the navigator was, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Um it wasn't my well. It was my fault, kind of. But it was the it was the 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 map, the, the map itself. It was telling me one way on the roundabout, and it was not matching up to where we were on the place. So, never mind. We got there eventually. It was great. It was wonderful. And after we went for a meal, and um, actually got face to face value with Amy. I met her last year, but it was like fleeting, you know. And I've had her on the on the we've had her on the show. And I've been on a show, uh, her show as well, which was really cool. And um, she got me, me confused with Rob. Because <laughs> she thought I was Rob and Rob was James Wilson kind of thing. So um, I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm James. <laughs> she was like, yeah. It was great, though. Know? It was wonderful, though, getting to meet Noah and stuff and talk to her. And, um, yeah, it's, it was all good. And, and the last thing I bought off Raz was this guy, Double Cross. I love him. He's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to do a review on him, I think. G1, Double Cross. So those are the bots that I got on the Thursday. And, um, like I say, it was just great just taking it easy and just chilling out. And you see, It was a good time because people like Dave, um, Dave Wallace, Adam um, Slater, they were there and they weren't running around like headless chickens, getting everything sorted, you know what I mean? It was nice to actually talk to them and get to, you know, it was it was cool. So then the Friday came and uh, we had a quiz. We went to we went, went for a meal on the Friday night and it was, uh, a few of us went to Frankie and Benny's, had a meal, came back, did the quiz. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, okay, let me tell you about the quiz, right? On the, ch on the Wednesday, we went over to Ellen. Uh, we met Petrina. Now, Petrina lives in um, near there. She took us back. She drove us back to Manchester. How cool is that? Anyway, she stayed for tea. She had tea, and we had a right chat. She was there till like 10 and a half, 10. It was, it was really cool. She's dead funny. So this is, it was Petrina, Raz, me, and, and Caroline, the wife. And we just chatted forever. And I think, yeah, Car Caroline and Petrina kind of bonded. It was it was very, very cool. And it was nice for Carol to see a couple of my AA fat mates. You know, and they haven't, she hadn't met anyone. She met Phil at Chat 25, and that's about it. But he's just crazy. So I bought these bad boys at AA, and I thought that's really cool because I've now completed my Uber weapons. So now I can power up Unicron. Also, it makes a really good. Powerlinks Jetfire Death Ray Mode Requiem Blaster. Gotta love it. So on the Wednesday, when I was over at Ellen, Petrina, I said to Petrina, says, Do you want to join the Iconic Re Reviews team for the quiz? She went, No. I went, Why? She says, I want to see what McFeely's doing. I went, <laughs> McFeely? What does he know? <clears throat> I was like, really, like, what? You're my mate. What are you talking about? No, I want to be with McFeely. 
So I was like, oh, you, you. So um, when it turned out that McFeely wasn't doing the quiz, <laughs> I laughed. Anyway, she joined the IR team uh, along with Ray. I love Miss. Um, who else was there? Ian Pitt, Airlift 82, uh, obviously the team. And uh, Stephen Walker in Florida. And of course, Mr. Soundwave SG1 himself, Tony, was there to bolster the ranks. Um, we still did shit. <laughs> we still did shit. But um, it was good. It was good. It was hot in there, though. God, it was hot. A lot of people there. A lot of heat. <sighs> yeah, it was unbearable at one point. Anyway. Moving on. This is one of the last things I got on the weekend. Cyber Chan Landmine. Um, very cool. Complete. Uh, it's really quick. Cool. Yay! Swerves also acted as um, the second place. So you had the, the lobby to hang out in. And they had Swerves. Because Swerves was open longer, you could sit in there and chill out for a bit, you know? And it was really cool because... It was really cool. <laughs> they put the air conditioning on in there. It was nice and cool. So it was really hot in in the main area. You'd uh, you'd go into that, cool down, maybe go into the lobby later on for a drink or something. And it was really cool. Uh, and we did, we spent quite a bit of time in there. I um, first met Gerard in there. That was nice to see Gerard and Dave and and uh, is it Julie, his, his mum. It was awesome. It was awesome to meet the band as well. And, and see them, and uh, we had a bit of a chat. So I told him, like, you know, get up, it, go, come up to the north, cut some Birmingham stuff like that, and get out of London and do some do some gigs up here for you. Because the gig business is, you know, it's hard work and a lot of slaving about. You don't get much out of it, um, especially in London. London's harsh, man. But anyway, yeah, he kind of like Jared liked the idea of that, so. Let's uh, let's hope he comes up here. Says, you know what? I got a bed here. If you want to stay in there, you know. Oh, cool. I don't know what version this is, but uh, Vector Prime. Um, someone's going to tell me. It don't matter. What it is. He's missing his sword and the missile, uh, but he's got his little guy and uh, the uh, the electric. I I've took all the batteries out. Yes, what you do when you collect, you take the batteries out so it don't wreck it. I think it's. There's still some bits missing, I think, because I think there's some missing here, something here. I don't care. It's just a bit of a plastic, a bit of plastic. I just wanted to get a feel of it, some good clicks on it, you know, and it transforms okay. And it's mainly there, isn't it? So, yeah. Problem with the the stalls this year, you find that you've been on a lot of auto assembly of halls videos this year. Um, people are saying, I didn't buy a lot because the choice wasn't as much. Generations toys, the new stuff. There wasn't that much. There was fuck tons of jet fire. Because um, that's just come out. And uh, there was uh, quite a few sharp um, sky bite. And they'd gone by the end of the Saturday. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, not a, a lot of third party stuff from uh, Kapow. Um, but it wasn't a lot of choice. Uh, there was a lot of. There was a few things. I wanted. Um, the Chrome Dome third party one. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Him. And uh, no, nothing to be seen. Um, I wanted to get the RID Prime, you know, the fire engine. I saw him once. And I should have got him. The choices wasn't as vast. So hopefully that'll be sorted for next year. Who knows? Only when they got this bloody bad boy in the last day. You're about. Gerard's band sounded awesome on the gig on the night. The Saturday night was brilliant. It was there the there was uh, the, the, uh, the party. It was a birthday party. It wasn't a thirtieth anniversary. It was a birthday party. Uh, the script reading on the Saturday night. Peter Spellus came out. He, he did the you know who's the fastest sleekest shark or I can't remember the thing. Skybite. That's me. I was like, ooh, I kind of geeked out. I was like, I didn't know. Didn't think I'd geek out like that, but I did. And, uh, yeah, it was cool. So, uh, that happened. And then the, the costume, the cosplay competition, which was really cool. There was some great stuff going on. Um, the Ravage was awesome. Uh, Ravage was my favorite. There's one simple fact for it, because it's cosplay. 
And so it's not just the costume, it's the play as well. Like you're, really, you're acting as that person. Did it really good. It was like a cute rabbit. It was like, all this. It was just so cool. Hey, Kevin. Is his name Kevin who did it? Really cool. Um, and then after that, um, Wolfgang came on. And that was that was really cool. Um, sounded really cool. I, I only listened to a couple of songs because something very cool happened usually later on. It was like, Rah. But I bought his album. It's a really good album, guys, by the way. Wolfgang's uh, album. Um, I'll put a link at the bottom again. I think I did it for the pre-AA video. I'm going to put, put a link at the bottom. It's a really good album, guys. Uh, seven pound on music, but I can't remember the thing. I can't remember the thing. There's words going across now because I forgot it last time. I think as well. So I'm putting it across here because I'm a fucking idiot. It's on this website, but the link will be at the bottom as well. Click on there, seven quid, and it's a good album. And you'll hear like the collector seventy five. Is uh, he does? Jay and Nolsey used to do one of the songs on there, and a few of the other guys <coughs> do. And so, if you've listened to Collector seventy five or Nolsey, old school Nolsey, and that you'll have heard some of the songs anyway. So, definitely watch it. Definitely, definitely grab it. I got to sit back to show this one. Cybertron Optimus Prime, a wonderful toy to behold. Um, fun, fun. He's great. He looks just like the character, which is a, a bonus of why they use CGI because um, they get it to look like a toy and so forth. Very, very good. Lots of playability in this. So on the Saturday, I bought my haul, uh, some of my haul. I sat down and uh, Steve Tomo, uh, the lift referee, the diving nothing was there. Um, and uh, uh, Fiona, his missus, was there. Dave, Mens. SMS no one. SMS number one. Uh, Raz, Rob, uh, Eloise. Eloise was there. Um, I think Steve was. Uh, Tim. Uh, is it Mega Now Nice? Mega Spring Nine, Mega Nine Nine. Tim, 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 Tim. Um, which was wonderful because I recognised his face, and Dave recognised his voice, which is really cool. Um, and we're all sat around the table anyway. And uh, Raz came out with his toy. It was all shiny and sexy, gold chrome on the chest, like silver chrome on the sword. Up to the knees. I was like, oh, what's that? And he told me. I was like, oh. And then he told me what it was about. I'm like, oh. He says, you can connect it to Cybertron Optimus Prime. I said, can you? Oh, I should get that. And then someone said, I know where this one. I'm like, really? Where? I'll take it. And I got it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Cybertron uh, Windsaber. Uh, a wonderful toy. I didn't even know this existed. Because, again, like I say, I haven't watched uh, Cybertron, so I don't know about the characters. I didn't know about this. And it's a wonderful toy. Um, lots of, loads of playability in this. Because it's got swords and stuff. And, like, you can't, you can't play the swords in this. But you can with the Prime, which is cool. But it was complete. I think it was like 25, 30 pounds, I think it was. Steel. Got it complete. Um, Raz had the, uh, I, I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I don't know the Japanese version of it. But basically this bit was chrome, and the swords, instead of white, uh, grey, were silver, which was really cool. But I'm happy with this one, this looks great with the Cybertron Prime. And he's got the, the Japanese version of Prime as well, so um, very, very cool. So uh, yeah, Peter Spellos would sit with people throughout the weekend, a wonderful gentleman, um, he loves it. He said the really cool thing. Um, I think SG1 has said it on his video. Tony said it. Uh, P Peter Spellos said, "Fuck Botcom. Botcom's got nothing on this." He said, "I come again." He says Botcom will have to pay me more double <laughs> for me to go over there again because I prefer all the same way. which is really cool coming from there. And I spoke to a, a last. We, I met a last saying on the Sunday. Uh, Mindy, 
she's from California and she came all the way because she heard some good stuff about all of them. And she did the cosplay and she came as, uh, is it Crosshairs from the movie? She was really cool. She she came in and did, you know, cosplay. She did everything. She was going by fire and maneuver down the the, um, the pathway to the, to the front on the Saturday night, which was really cool. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. And she said, though, um, she said, Botcon is nowhere near as good as that one. Which was, I thought, wow, that's really cool. Because I'm not interested in going Botcon. I've heard, so, you know, you don't get the contact like you do at all assembly. At all assembly, you get to speak to this. You can you can go and have a drink with the actors. You can go and have a drink with the artists and the stuff. And, and uh, that's the really cool thing about all assembly. There's the tactile connection. As long as you're not a weirdo, <laughs> you're okay. You're gonna be fine. Don't be a weirdo. We don't like weirdos. Got this bad boy on a Sunday. Uh, he was on my last buy. Uh, the box said. It's been opened. Uh, but there was this is Cybertron Dark Sukorponok and uh, he was missing the key. The missiles. Uh, the other gun to that on his chest. Um, so it wasn't complete and he never said that on the box, which was, you know, yay. Um, but it shut by then, so thing is guys. I've learned it now. Check your stuff. Give yourself plenty of time to check your stuff on the Sunday. If there's any problem, go back and speak to them. I'm sure they'll work it out. So, yeah. Um, he's a nice, cool, cool bot, though. I mean, I'm not really that bothered about it. It looks cool. It transforms well. I've got plenty of these cyber keys now. I've got about three or four of them now. So, you know, it still works. It just makes the gun come out. On the Saturday night, while uh, Wolf Kang was playing, um, I bumped into Livio Remondelli, and we've—he's been on the show. He's been on I Iconic Reviews once before. Did it last year, um, talking about autocracy, and it was just before uh, um, Monstrosity came out. <coughs> so we talked about the first book <coughs> and started talking about the upcoming second book. And he's a really cool guy. Um, he lives in California now. And uh, such an awesome guy. And Danielle, his girlfriend. And they come over here. And then after here, they went to Paris and stuff. And I, I, met, I met Danielle. And Danielle's really cool lass. And she, she loved it. And I said, you've got to try chips when you come over here. Try chips. Fish and chips. Mushy peas. You love it. Um, I don't know if she's tried it. But really cool lass. And... Uh, we got chatting, I got Rob, and we started chatting about just catching up and seeing how they were doing and stuff. And that was it. And then talking about, you know, he said to, he said to us, do you want to do an interview? I said, oh, yeah. So um, I said, so I don't want to go over anyone's toes here, so I'm going to go and check it out with Simon in the hotel and stuff and check it out. So I got all the time. Simon directed me to Tori because Tori is <coughs> – Tori O'Regan, she deals with all the – all the guests, she looks after them, makes sure that they're fed and watered and at the right place at the right time and everything. And she's just the backbone to that, you know. Talked to her and she said, "Yep, yeah, it seems it's pretty cool." And they managed to let us. Uh, we ended up getting one of the rooms, one of the rooms that they used, allocated for the Sunday night. And we chatted with, with uh, Olivia there, and we've we've got a video. Um, and there's also the recording. There's the actual. Uh, sound recording which will be um, on Iconic Reviews very shortly, it'll be on the AA special so that's coming up nearly at the end now, Sunday, Sunday morning we were going to do a recording for um, I, um, IR and uh, it was just, you know, talking about AA but no one was in it we started recording it wasn't happening, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay let's Let's leave it. Then, the Lord that is time, Timey turned up with a big bag and went, have a look at these, let's see what you want to buy. Boom. Voyager, Starscream, £5. Boom, no gun. I don't need no making gun. He's got everything here. He's got his two missiles and his devilish good looks. I mean, look. 
Look at that sexy face. Yes. Let's do the Megatron. Yes. He is sexy. I like him a lot. And he transforms so good. It took me a while to actually, because it, it, it requires a little bit of stuff. Gotta... Finally, the lads. We got together, the four of us. The five of us, if you include Dave. It was, it was just wonderful. Um, and I spoke to a lot of people, and on the Saturday night, I made sure I went round to all the tables and took photos with people I knew and stuff. Uh, it was great seeing mine, uh, mine song and mine and Emily song. It was great to see them again. Um, I've got to spend more time with them though. I've spend more time with more people. That was the thing. We got on the lift. Me, Luke, and Rob got on the lift, and Ro uh, James Robertson was with us. He came on. He didn't walk with us. He just came on the lift at the same time, like kind of thing. And he goes to me, I said, I said to Luke, I said, Luke, don't mention any bots that you like. It's still alive. So there was a little giggle. And then, and then James just said to me, he says, I haven't seen you this week. I says, no, I'm sorry. I've just not, not been able to see anyone. So um, I made sure that I went to see him on Sunday, see how he was and stuff. And only got a few minutes with him. It was the wrong time. Next year. Um, I will speak to him, but it was just great to see everyone. It really was wonderful to see everyone, um, and it re it sounds cliche because everyone says it. The first weekend you go, your first time, it's about the plastic. After that, it's about the people. It really is. Um, I wasn't bothered about the bots. I didn't go in. I didn't buy my first bot for about an hour and a half, two hours, from when it opened. It really wasn't. Looking around because I couldn't find anything that I wanted. I had a list and nothing there, so never mind, never mind. And my final bot that I'm showing you today, um, that from my haul, is uh, there's a there's a theme this year. It's all about beasts. I've got my G1 Dinobots, animated Dinobots, Skull Cruncher, uh, cross cross uh, cross double cross even. Scorpion up, uh, pink Scorpion, I think. and this bad boy from Andrew Tate, a fellow Mancunian, at Salford area, a wonderful chap. Um, lots of love to you, Andy. Um, hope everything works out for you. I hope you um, gets better, mate. Uh, but he bought me this. Uh, he sold me this bad boy. He sold me Black Arantia last year in box twenty quid. 20 quid again in box. This was sealed. They were both. He's just a wonderful guy. A wonderful guy. He bought this. He said he bought this in Ashton, which is just down the road from me when it came out. So, uh, yeah. This is a great toy. Guys, this is gorgeous. I need to do a review on him, to be honest. I'm so glad I got him. Wonderful. Peace Wars. Tag of all. So that's it. That's my feelings. That's my thoughts about my art assembly and my haul. Um, if you're still with us, thanks for joining. Still mean here. <laughs> um, our iconic reviews. We'll be doing an I, um, art assembly special. That'll be out. Uh, probably it'll be out. Hopefully the end, by the end of this week. We tried to record it tonight. Kept cutting off. It would have been an edit nightmare. So we're going to try it tomorrow. See if we can get it out. All oh, the joys of podcasting. So, uh, until next time, and it will be quite soon. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a review this this weekend, this coming weekend. So, until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Be good now, and I'll see you on the weekend. Bye bye.